That invitation yesterday was a total surprise, and many people are praising William for being such a gentleman, but what was the real reason behind this? You're about to find out. Welcome back, my Battle Language Buddies. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Battle Language Guy, and it will be great if you join us by just liking this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell. Let's get down to it. But first of all, just a quick reminder that dogs know. Yeah, you already saw this meme, but I wanted to repost it for your amusement. So this tweet from Angela Levin caught my attention. So it seems that William invited Harry and Meghan to a walkabout because they were planning to go on their own and had informed a USA TV station to come along. William found out and stopped it to keep it under control. No surprise there. Thank goodness. Yeah, that reminds me that thank goodness Megan is not coming. But this was also reported by Lady Colin Campbell that, well, that was the scheme of Megan and Harry to be some kind of protagonists in these days and you know that they're very capable of that and more. So it's no olive branch and, well, you could see that as a gracious gesture, but now you know that William and Catherine did this only to stop the Harkles from making this about themselves, and that's why they had such a tense battle language all over the walkabout. Especially William. You know that William is a very tense man. I've mentioned that a couple times, but this time, well, that was cranked up to 11 because he had his hands in fists and his jaw was tense at the same time. He tried to be a bridge between the two couples, but it's obvious that he did not enjoy this. And I'm sure that he wishes that the Montecito duo goes back home as soon as possible. Well, that mimics Megan's tension, and it might be due to the fact that they were notified just with one hour in advance. They didn't have any time to prepare for this, so they were caught off guard. And that's how you can see Megan's mask slipping with all the tension in her neck and her jaw, and that, that, that stare. We got more comments such as Dickie Moore, who says, Harry and Meghan call a US TV station to follow them greeting crowds at Windsor State on their own. William heard and headed them off at the pass. This was not a show of unity, but required to stop the Sussexes from pulling off a subversive and cynical publicity stunt. That's why you see their battle language so detached from one another, especially Catherine that didn't want to do anything to do with the Harkles. But I don't know, somehow Megan kept staring at Catherine for some reason. And yeah, people took notice, such as according to Taz, Megan staring at Catherine gives me the same vibes as when Amber Heard kept staring at Johnny Depp in the courtroom. Thoughts? Well, I agree. Was she trying to mimic Catherine in any way? Or maybe she was trying to find some kind of feedback on Catherine. But no. Catherine gave her the you'll never see my eyes again treatment. Of course, this could have been perceived so many ways, and in fact, in most of those ways, the Prince and Princess of Wales come out winning. Just like Kayla Adams says, the fact that Prince William and Kate invited Harry and Meghan to the walkabout says an awful lot. The Sussexes accepted it, so clearly they wanted to join them. The Prince and Princess of Wales are being the bigger people and extended an olive branch. That word again, but well, it's, it's, a, it's a nice touch. Well done. But you know that Meghan had to break protocol in some way, uh, so this happened. Thanks to squishy hugs, the big guns had to step in when Meghan refused to let go of the flowers the first aide tried to take from her as she herself wanted to walk them over to the other tributes. And maybe you're saying, well, Megan is not used to this because, well, she is not a working royal from so long ago, but that's what the aides are for, to be there and say, hey, you can hand me the flowers, and she only has to do that. But no, you can see in the video that Harry had to say that to her expressly, like confront her. Yeah, you have to give her the flowers. <laughs> That's how we do things in here. Another interesting comment by Van72. 
By the way, I'm not saying anything negative about William and Catherine. I'm merely pointing out uh, that it won't make even the slightest difference to Meghan's future version of events, shortly to be touted to the highest bidder. And that's how narcissists act. Doesn't matter how you treat them, how good you treat them, it makes no difference in, in the world. They still are going to spin the narrative that you are the bad guy, that you treated them wrong. And it's impressive that even in these situations with so much tension between them, Catherine manages to have that genuine smile, that soft expression, being glad of being there, being warm to the people. And the people feel that and you can feel that in the pictures. And we got another cute anecdote from Catherine about Prince Louis. Thanks to Roya Nika, an emotional princess of Wales told a group of children that Prince Louis said of the Queen, at least Granny is with great grandpa now. While another well wish said it was really nice to see William, Harry, Kate and Meghan together. And yes, that brought us back to that era of the Fab Four and all that it could have been. I remember that one of the first videos I made about the royal family was the relationship between Harry and Catherine. And Harry, and Harry even said that Catherine was the sister that he never had. And it's not hard to see that they had so much empathy together. They liked to hang out with each other. So what happened with that? Well, that is long gone. And I made a live of two hours and a half about this encounter. And just after, just right after that live, I noticed something that Catherine and Harry never acknowledge each other. Like Catherine acted like Harry did not exist. And I think that she, she is fed up of all the drama and all the hurt and all the and all the nastiness that Harry has thrown at the royal family. Because you remember that last year at Prince Philip's funeral, it was Catherine that was uh, the peacemaker between William and Harry. She was the one that told William, hey, you have to talk to your brother. Let's just hang out together. But this serves as a confirmation that this has changed. And the Harkles keep pushing their PR tactics. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may fly Archie and Lilibet to the UK for the Queen's funeral with their grandmother Doria Raglan after having spent more than a week apart, royal expert claims. They are still trying to make it about themselves. And Canel Citadel has a very good explanation here. Now that Prince William is a billionaire overnight with political powers, suddenly the Sussex PR wants to push for brotherly reconciliation, just so they can grift off his solid reputation after they try to take him down. I hope Catherine advised him right. This is a trap. Now, I'm pretty sure this is not going to be the last time we see them together, but until then, we'll be reporting whatever happens in the realm of body language and behavior of the royal family, non-royals, and other topics too. My body language buddies, my name is Jesus Enrique Rosas, I'm the body language guy, and until we meet in another video, another live, and remember to download my 100 body language tips right in the description of this video. Much love and bliss.